We've got the Nashville Cup. This is really fucking warm. Anyways, a couple of days ago, um, my brother Adam and I went out and did some shooting in Western Omaha. And there's some farmland out there that I've been wanting to hit for a while, and we had a nice overcast day where the light wasn't disgusting uh, midday. So made our way out and um, took the Rolly Flex, a couple rolls of Portra, and decided to shoot some rural Omaha randomness. So we ended up walking around um, on some kind of dirt road cornfields. What else would you expect from Nebraska? And ended up finding the cemetery, which turned out to be pretty cool. We uh, walked around the cemetery. It was like right in the middle of just open field. So it was kind of a odd place for a cemetery, but a uh, very interesting location nonetheless. Walked around that for a bit, took some shots, walked on around the roads um, and fields for a bit, drove around and uh, just kind of no plan, no direction and just shot what we found. It was... Uh, Really fun experience. Definitely want to do more videos like this. Um, but yeah, the intention was to shoot a couple rolls of portrait and a couple rolls of lamography. But the weather had other plans. Apparently, when uh, when it's overcast in the middle of the day and the forecast says that it's not going to rain, you can count on it raining. And that's exactly what happened. We caught a downpour pretty much as soon as we left the uh, the cemetery and uh, decided, you know, what better to do with the downpour than to get some Qdoba. That's what we did. We got some Qdoba. It was wonderful. We were hoping that the weather would kind of uh, subside while we ate and then we could get back and uh, finish off the day strong. And, you know, God had other plans. So we uh, ended up eating that Qdoba getting back in the car and driving back to Omaha and uh, that was all she wrote so all in all shot a uh, finished off a roll of Portra and then shot a, another roll and developed them the next day got a little bit of uh, video you know just with me developing the film I kind of wanted to run you guys through my setup and um, yeah <laughs>
So when we got back home, I still had two exposures left on the uh, on the on the roll, and uh, decided to burn them really quickly on two of my favorite subjects, um, my dog and Audrey. So here are those photos and uh, a bit of a look into the developing process. Dog's name is Maggie, by the way. Developing two rolls of uh, Kodak Portrait 400 120 today. Of course, got the dark bag. Um, I got all of this stuff on B&H. Uh, got this tank on B&H. Pretty cool because it holds two spools of uh, medium format or three spools of 35 millimeter. These are not the normal spools that come with the tank. They're like B&H's proprietary plastic spools or whatever. And I've been very happy with them. I didn't like the other ones. They were just too too finicky in my opinion these have been fantastic though um really easy to use easy to uh easy to separate easy to uh change between you know 35 and 120 no problems at all um got this nashville towel obviously and uh yeah i just use a i got this from walmart and then i ordered the sous vide from amazon set that at about 105 and keep my chemicals these are just standard glass bottles um and uh you've got your blix developer and just some water um i use distilled water and then sink water to fill it up obviously and then yeah stabilizer right there um this is a new addition this is just kind of to dry everything off um but then i got this clipboard this clipboard is a fucking awesome and uh, just kind of to keep track. So you've got the chemical mixing date, today's date, rolls developed, and then the total amount of rolls. So I had some chemicals before that were way overused and uh, just, you know, ha were not kept track of well at all. So this has really helped me kind of keep track of uh, how many rolls have been developed and how long the chemicals have been, uh, been sitting around. So that's been really, really helpful. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to know how to develop, I recommend looking up a video. There's tons out there that can teach you better than me. Yeah, nonetheless, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, let me know. Um, and I will try to do more stuff like this in the future. This is kind of the plan that I've had of where I want to move the channel. Um, want to definitely do more, you know, shooting i've been talking about cameras a lot on here and that's just not my it's not my gig i'm not good at it you know so hopefully we get back into some shooting and just uh pure photography talking about photographs making photographs exploring places etc so anyways hope you all are having a good day um if you like what you see then uh, interaction is always appreciated i love hearing from you guys i love the thumbs up etc definitely helps out and um if you want to see more then uh yeah subscribe or put a reminder on your phone to check for a new video every week uh, if you're old school which is completely acceptable or maybe you don't have a youtube account i know a lot of people that just watch a lot of youtube videos and don't have a youtube account seems kind of weird in 2021 but you do you Anyways, until next week. This video is sponsored by Blueberry Tea. Way too hot to drink. Way too hot to drink. Um, Gray Blueberry Tea. The brand escapes me. All I know is I used to buy multi-packs um back in college because that was the only way you could get it they didn't sell it on its own so i'd buy the uh, variety packs with like seven other flavors i'd only drink the blueberry and then i'd buy a new pack so i had like a thousand bags of non-blueberry fruit tea hanging around it's just
consequence. But eventually, I was able to find just the blueberry tea, and it was amazing. And now I buy that. Adulthood. <laughs>